Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, how you doing? Welcome. Um, it's so great to have you. My name's Abby Aslan, if you are new here, and I upload two to three times a week. And I basically just make like a bunch of lifestyle content and fitness and beauty and fashion a little bit vlogs, college, all the good stuff. So if any of that interests you, definitely subscribe down below. It would mean the world to me. I have a feeling you guys are probably like screaming inside, or at least some of you are, over the fact that this video is finally being made. It is very long overdue, but it has taken some time and work to figure out. So I really hope you guys like it. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you do and let me know down below. So about eight months ago, and maybe it was like seven months ago, let's say, I got really bored over Christmas break from college. I was at home and I was like, you know what? I've seen all these little aesthetic pictures of collages of quotes from Visco and Pinterest and all this stuff. And I'll like insert all those around me so you guys can see what I'm talking about. And I was like, you know, it'd be really cool to have one of those as like my background that was sized for my background on my phone instead of using one of them and it getting cut off. And it'd be quotes that I want and it'd be also pictures of me and my friends and my boyfriend and my family that are also in the collage along with the quotes. So I got to thinking, I did some playing around. I spent probably eight or nine hours in total, not consecutively, but in total making a background that looks like this. Um, and it was my background up until a week ago when I finally made a new one. And it was my background for that long because A, I didn't get bored of it, which normally never happens, but I didn't get bored of it because there was so much going on and I just thought it was so perfect. And I also didn't change it just because it took me so long to do the first one. So it took me eight or nine hours. I used PicMonkey and I also used um, lunapic.com and it was just like this long process of like having to go between two different like websites and it just took so long and like messing around with like what pictures I wanted and like finding the quotes I wanted took so long what I was doing on PicMonkey you needed to have a subscription that you like purchase to use it so I didn't want to film this video and like show you guys how to make it through PicMonkey and Lunapic because in my head I was like you know there's got to be an easier way to do this that doesn't take this long that's all in one place I didn't have time to do this during the school year so in the past like month and a half or so um, I had, I've been promising you guys in the comments like I swear I'm gonna make the background video at some point like I just gotta find the right app to do it and um, so I have been downloading a bunch of different apps on my iPhone trying to figure out like what the best way to make these backgrounds is and I downloaded a bunch of different ones but none of them were really like that great they didn't have like every function I needed on it and all that stuff one of you guys though I was messaging and um, you mentioned to me that you had downloaded this app called Over. I don't remember your name, so I'm sorry. But she was like, hey, like I downloaded the app Over and it looks like it might do what you're like trying to do. Um, she was like, I haven't played around with it and I'm sure like you can probably figure it out um, if you wanna try that out for making the backgrounds. So, cause we were messaging about how I made the backgrounds and I was like, look, I'm trying to make a video but I'm trying to find a way where I can do it all at once. So then she told me about this app. I go on the app and like within five minutes, it all, like I know it's all gonna work. I can do everything on the app to make these backgrounds. This is what my current one looks like right now. Um, I kind of just have like a bunch of pictures. I have some of my pets. I have a bunch of like with family, friends, quotes, all that good stuff. And today I really just want to go through with you guys and show you the process of how I did all of this. And I've already done the screen recordings for this, but I'm kind of mad that I already did them because it's going to be hard for me to like go back and like talk through what I did with already recorded screen recordings instead of doing it as I do it, if that makes sense. So let's get a roll on this. I am going to first start with the first step. The very first thing you want to do is go on Pinterest or Visco or any like photo app like that that has all kinds of different like quotes and stuff on it and you guys need to find quotes that you like. Um, if you're not following me on Pinterest, you should be. Um, I think it's just Abby P. Aslan or something, but whatever it is, it's linked down below so you can follow me on there. But I do have a board called Creatives and it kind of has pretty much most of the ones I have on my background and then some that I never ended up using, but it's got a bunch that you guys would probably like. And if you don't like any of these or you want to do different ones, you can always click on one you do like and find similar ones related to it because that's what Pinterest does. It shows you related pens, which this is how I find most of them is just by going through the related ones. And if you want to find extra ones um, through Pinterest, the best thing to search is probably Visco. Um, I think it's Visco Quotes is the best thing to search. Yeah, Visco Quotes is the best thing to search if you want to find other ones because as you guys can see, there are just all these really cute aesthetic 
uh, pictures and quotes and if you like see one you like you can literally just click on it and look at related ones like I said I recommend making a board on Pinterest so you can keep it all organized in one place and I just use the three little dots to download the image and then once I've saved all the pictures I want from Pinterest and Visco and stuff I made a folder on my iPhone as you can see here it's called background and I just have like all of the pictures in here that I wanted um, in here I have not only the pictures that I saved from Pinterest and stuff I also have pictures that I went through like my camera roll and added them to this album for my pictures with friends and family and like pets and stuff that are in here so this album just has everything I wanted so it's all in one place and I can retrieve it all from one place instead of having to like scroll all the way back through my pictures and finding a picture of like me and my boyfriend from four months ago or something like that so now let's go to the app over is so great because we can literally do everything in one place you guys and you're gonna start by clicking on this little plus button and I do transparent I don't know why but I just feel like that's the thing you should do for this uh, it says choose a size as soon as you do that so you click on the size at the top like I just did and I looked up I looked up iPhone 10R lock screen size and whatever came up for that is what I put in here and it still doesn't fit all the way like it cut off so much of my picture just because of the way the freaking update like does the lock screens it's so annoying my actual background is not the size that i put in here just because i ended up like shrinking it in the long run to fit and there's a little bit of black space around it but it's not like you can tell because the screen is black if that makes sense so in order to make it fit, I had to do that. All in all, I, I have no idea. I tried so hard to find the true iPhone XR lock screen size that would make everything fit, but it's just the way the phone resizes things when you make them your background. So we can't really help it. But you do that to make the size for your transparent background, and then once you do that, you would have a um, transparent background come up in the size that you need. And basically all you do once you get in here is you just click on image, and then you will go to the top where it goes says all photos and then I just go to my background album um, and then and there I would just like click on a picture I started off by choosing all of like the people pictures so all of the pictures of like me and a friend or whatever and I started off by getting those as you can see it's gonna pop up in here like this and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna scroll over to mask and mask basically just erases backgrounds um, and everything so what I did is I would just kind of go in and do this and kind of like get all the way all of this stuff out so I'm doing it really messy right now since it's like I obviously have the actual thing in here but you can like zoom into it and like get really close and whatnot and there's some pictures where I didn't like I wasn't really picky with the background like I didn't go like all in each little crack and crevice and I didn't care that much about some of it I find that certain pictures it looks good when you do that like a few in the person are really close together but other pictures it just doesn't really like it doesn't matter so anyways once that part's done you click the little check mark and then um, you can move it around what I will say is doing this for a while will make your phone really slow so you might have to like kill it and then like not work on it for another day and then like go back to it because it does get really slow even if your phone's charged and I would just start off by like putting them in places and everything and on average, if you want yours to look like mine, I do suggest getting like um, around 12 to 13 pictures of you and a person and then all the quote ones. You can do as many quote ones as you want, just depends on how long and short they are and like how much space they take up. So yeah, we basically just do all of the ones with the people, place them somewhere, and then um, once they're all on there, I kind of put them in their spots. As you can see here, it took a lot of moving around. I didn't get it all done right away. And it's hard, like if you have a hard time clicking on something, like see how I'm trying to click on the lip one and it just keeps on clicking on this breathe one. You go to your layers and if you just click on the one you're trying to get to, like I'm trying to get this one, if you just click on it, it will take you to editing that particular one and then you can touch and move it around and stuff but anyways like that one instead of making a circle i outlined the lips because that was the shape that was there whenever i did the mask portion and that was just what worked best for me and i recommend trying to find quotes and stuff that are all within like a similar color scheme just because it looks really weird if you have like a bunch of different like harsh colors in different areas like I tried to do all like light pinks and yellows and light blues and very pastel colors just because that was what worked best for the ones that are backgrounds and not quotes like so there's three things you need to find pictures of you and your friends or whatever 
um, quotes and stuff of that sort, and then um, like background wall screen, wall screen wallpaper type of pictures, um, which is like, uh, as you can see in here, like the blue stars and the pink stars and the cheetah print and the white with the yellow stars and the leopard print and the snake skin. All of those you can find on Pinterest too, that's where I got mine. And basically those, I just made like a giant oval, like basically instead of making them like a giant rectangle, I made them a giant oval. And I kind of did those last, so I did the people pictures first, then I did the quotes. And then in order to get those behind everything, you have to go to the layers and like drag the things around. Like if you want it to be underneath everything, like you're gonna have to drag it all the way to where it's underneath all of your pictures with your friends and all of your quotes. And um, if you know how layers work on like Photoshop and stuff, then you'll understand this part. You just kind of have to mess around with it and sometimes you might like drag a layer and then it's gonna end up covering part of a picture that you didn't want it to and then you have to move the other layer. So you just gotta work with it. It's really like not that hard. This probably sounds complicated, but it's really not. You could also start your background and set it on transparent. You could do one cohesive wallpaper from Pinterest like I could do the white with the yellow stars as my one background and that be the only thing in the back but I wanted to have a bunch of different stuff in the back so that's why I did that um, but it does look a lot more like cohesive if you do like one thing that's all in the back but I just wanted to explain that to you guys because that's how I do it and then after that all you do is click export and then you save it um, to your phone so I forgot to actually talk about this when I was filming, but in order to make this fit your lock screen, you just go into over and start a new template on the black screen instead of transparent. And then you want to make it the iPhone suggested size in one of the suggestions. And then um, put the exported background that you made on top of the black background. And then just make sure that there's some border around the background that you exported. And then you should just be able to save it. And then once you make it your lock screen, you can kind of like zoom it in to make it fit to where nothing really gets cut off. Having that extra black space really allows you to make it fit your lock screen better. Hopefully that was a good tutorial. I don't know. It was so hard because I like kind of just did another screen recording and I already have a ton of screen recording. So I'm going to try to match everything up. It's probably going to take forever to add it. But I hope that it is helpful and shows you guys how I make these because I know you guys have been going crazy asking me about how I make them. Um, I know some people just make them and keep the pictures their normal like squares and rectangles without like resizing them and masking them to just be like an outline of the subject of the picture but i personally like the shapes just because it like makes me be able to put things together kind of better in a way um i don't know that's just me you can mess around on the app and obviously figure out like what you like and what your preference is but like i said i have my pinterest link down below and i believe my visco is down below too but i don't really have anything on my visco you could use and i didn't find anything off visco i just used pinterest so definitely be sure to follow me on social media and give this video a thumbs up if it helped because i hope it did and let me know if you guys liked it and i will see you guys in my next video thanks so much for watching be sure to subscribe if you're not already and i love you guys so much